Welcome. Tonight, you'll be talking with Shanisha, otherwise known as Reds, and we will be doing basement talk slash hard facts. And today, we have with us Alafia, but I'm going to go ahead and have her introduce herself. So, um, I'm Alafia, otherwise known as Rashibu. Um, and thank you guys for having me on Basement Talk Hard Facts. Thank you. Um, first session of Basement Talk Hard Facts. And we will be discussing tonight the impact of COVID-19 upon, a, would you say, the community? Overall. Overall. All right. But most in, partic in particular, our local community. Yes. Yeah. All right. Our family so, and friends who are affected. Absolutely. Our neighbors and even the person that we don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody right now, right? Yes. All right. So I think we can start off with maybe unemployment. Yeah, because that's hard cash, right? Yeah. Eventually. And um, figure it out. Yeah. So um, if most people are probably out of work because they're considered non-essential, at this point, I feel everybody probably saying that they want to be an essential worker. Yes. But do you really want to be an essential I worker? Mean, right? Because <laughs> I am an essential worker and, you know. Exactly. <laughs> so everybody else go home and then, you know, the essential workers are fair. Try to, to work still. So you make a question yourself, like, the next time you fill out a job application, are you going to think about being essential or, or not essential? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. I question it every day. I get up. I'm like, am I really essential? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, but um, what would we say is some of the options out there for the unemployed right now? Well, um, unemployed. It all depends on how or what they were doing before the crisis hit. Right. So mm -hmm. if you are unemployed right now, what was your status before the COVID? Did you have a job? The job that you had was it paying taxes? Was it not paying taxes? Were you self-employed? Um, were you a contract worker, 1099? So it all depends because if you had a job and you, the job that you had was you were paying taxes, federal, state, that means you're actually paying into an unemployment bank. Your job was paying for that subsidy for you so you are able to apply for unemployment right um so if it takes three four weeks for you to get the first check it's going to be retroactive regardless but if you are in the nature of the business there are most people that are in our surrounding where you're a dj or a professional cameraman or you know nightlife mm -hmm. or promoter promoters or mm -hmm. you're a landscape of your own your own business and stuff like that um you can apply for self-employment unemployment and um, in the state of Massachusetts, it just, we just, they just decided to make that decision on April 30th yeah. and they launched it last Tuesday, which would be what, the 22nd? Mm -hmm. So um, that's a good avenue or a good resources for people who are self-employed to be able to collect that. Um, so they're just making imaginary numbers up in order to put a tax credit against you and your business. Right. So you can apply for the benefit so you can be able to keep the transaction going because mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't realize it in the world that we're living in is based on transactions oh, yes. um, and the economy is much more important than any other business out there so if you put in there has to be a way you're gonna put out so you get up you sell your time you sell your time to a company the company then pay you for your time mm -hmm. but that money that they pay you they turn around and you pay them for the product or the quality service that you're delivering for that time right. so um, so that, with that being said, unemployment can be able to keep a family afloat because you're getting 60% of what you do and max about $500 a, month, a week. Right. So you keep a family afloat that had a job before or keep a, a self-employed worker, a contract worker also afloat. But for the ones who do the sporadic work where you may not be fully qualified for the unemployment, those are the ones you're worried about the most because then True. you have to look for relief and grants in order to stay afloat or family or rely on savings and a lot of people are bad savers so it, you, there's going to be a, a number that's fall mm -hmm. that will leave that you're not supported. So True. And you don't want to get into your half of some essential workers mm -hmm. that cannot go to work because of childcare. Like school is out, mm -hmm. a lot of them don't have 
babysitters and stuff like that. So with regards to the schooling now, that also affects you being out there even if you're able to go out or not. And then if you're able to go out there and you're not going out there because of school, I think they would maybe question, am, am I able to get unemployment because I am essential, mm -hmm. but, but you chose can. not to go yeah. to work. But you know, with school out, some people really don't have a choice. Well, um, we I guess we can only speak for Massachusetts in general. True. So if if you're an essential worker and your school is out, right? Um, your child's school is out, or they're essential worker and they're going to school too, and it's out. There are resources in place based on the employment that you have. So, for instance, if you work for the hospital. Um, Mass General in particular, or Boston Medical, or Children's, it doesn't matter. Once you work for a big organization or institution itself, um, there are child care programs that's involved or set right. into place, mm -hmm. but not all essential workers are able to it's afford it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can you qualify to get it, but can you actually afford it? Right. So then you can then go to your employer and say, listen, I need to be able to be at work, but I can't afford this. So how is that going to work? And they'd be able to talk something out for you because this time is not the time where you can call a family member and say can I watch my kid true because it's COVID you don't know your child yeah, can be asymptomatic yeah. you know so it's crazy um, but there's a lot of different options that they're doing so there's other child care providers or daycare that have the ability to still watch um, mm -hmm. or provide for someone's kid as long as they're approved by the state as a essential child care right. facility so there's doctors and, and nurses that are able to take advantage of that resources, but they're limited because yeah. the, the, the daycare centers or that child care provider is also limited. Nannies don't even want to go with baby sick people. True, so true. It's kind of it's, it's kind of difficult. And then for homeschooling, it's a, that's a whole different challenge. It's so. a whole different ball game. <laughs> but I know um, in our area that I'm living in, um, they have a few child care places that is open for mm -hmm. essential workers mm -hmm. and the possibility of them getting the service for free mm -hmm. because they're essential workers. Well, that's good. Yeah. Because so. in Boston, you're not getting that free. Okay. <laughs> we have a few places in our area that's doing it for free for essential workers. So yeah, that's really good. I guess it's just you knowing what to look for mm -hmm. or how to get that information, really, because it's, true. it's out there. But, how do you know about it? but all right, so the question is, right? As a parent, like, how do you think? Um, how do you? How do you think now with the situation with COVID that you're an essential worker? Are you able to balance homeschooling and work? It's absolutely difficult. <laughs> oh, listen. Big up to Anna and the teacher. Yeah. They're out there. <laughs> because, listen, only thing we hear at the time, can I have one more minute? <laughs> So, I have one more minute. I swear, that's probably like the nightmare of everybody else when they said, Oh, um, yes. So, if you didn't appreciate the teachers then, then you surely listen, appreciate them now. I never used to buy Teacher's Day gift, but it's the next Teacher's Day. Them get everything. Right, true. <laughs> <laughs> like, you want, what, you know, all right, so you know when they send a the list home and they said, um, Classroom supplies, you need this, you need that, you need that. Oh, no, oh, man. Oh, I'll geez. be going to beaches, Walmart, anything else? <laughs> Because I want to make sure you have it on. Exactly. Because, like, oh. They need to be appreciated. And it's so funny because with COVID, it, I think it brings a lot of parents' eyes to exactly mm -hmm. the the how the capability that these teachers oh, have yes. to keep your kids still. And the patience. Ooh, let's talk about that. <laughs> the patience that you have to have with these kids. COVID put in a situation where... <laughs> If you were in denial that your kid was a little baby kid, oh gee, <laughs> you definitely know your kid's a baby kid, and I think everybody know what a baby kid is. Yeah, because I got two right now in the COVID, and I'm not gonna lie to you, they're strictly babies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they just don't listen. So, but even then, because um, seeing at their home, a lot of people may say, "Oh, it's very hard for them to do that," or "It's hard for mm -hmm. us to go back and forth," especially essential workers. Um, there's a lot of programs out there that's going for free, like they have um, Epic Playground. And with the Epic Playground, if you're in a hospital, you may assume that I'm speaking about a hospital software, but it's really not. It's um, it's an online library where they're giving up to six months for free now, just because they know the kids are out. So they'd be able to keep reading 
constantly, constantly, right. constantly. All their favorite storybooks, their story rhymes, um, the software you're able to download on your phone, their tablet, mm -hmm. and they read it. It reads them. It reads it back to them. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, ABC Mouse is another one. Yeah. You know. Really good. Teeth look money every yeah. now and then, but <laughs> the kids them like you know get not really too into sure. it but for now they're really into it they've upgraded their software they're giving up to 60 days for free and they're renewing it for families who they know that's a, um, a low income mm -hmm. so um that's another resource for kids that are at home comcast is another one that given laptops for 170 dollars like when did you want a laptop for Ooh, and like, free wi-fi too. and free wi-fi so they're doing the free wi-fi in a day and if you should be collecting unemployment here's a super tip 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 by the hard hard facts right if you are approved for unemployment or you're on forbearance, right? Or for long, and when you're approved and you get that letter to say that you're now on unemployment, just call Comcast the phone, please. <laughs> Cause no, your Comcast bill just cost nine dollars. Really? <laughs> yes, girl. So a lot of people don't know it. It's now it's nine dollars. So a lot of people don't know. If you are in a family or a household that they assume that you're on unemployment or mm -hmm. you're collecting TDFC or you're collecting food stamps or you're on mass health or you're on any government program that can call it say that they already verify your income even WIC and remember mm -hmm. WIC is not only for a low income family because you can make up to yeah. six or something thousand dollars a and year still and it. still be WIC yeah. so if you can produce the letter to them to Comcast then you're automatically qualified for a low um, they call it a low income service from mm -hmm. them which way they give you the same service that we'd have paid hundred and a dollar for for ten dollars. But you know, realize we essential workers really not benefited. Hey, we miss out. <laughs> we miss out. We not benefit from COVID enough. Especially the extra hundred six hundred the extra hundred six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. We can't even say we can't even say no, we have the ignorant cars. You get an extra six hundred dollars per month for being unemployed. Listen. Period. Right, yes or no? Me I wanna think about what we like, buy. Like, they might get more money than me weekly. Listen, and, and remember <laughs> our bonus gone for this year because the hospitals are under pressure. Um, yeah. Their 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 debt is to the roof. Like, yep. so look a bonus so we don't normally get it. Just yeah. uh, but even when um you're working remote, you do two days in, three days out. So you say to yourself, you're still going out there. You know, mm -hmm. there's a risk of you have to still wear the mask, have to still do the gloves. You're going on campus. It, you know the the mm -hmm. the risk the, the risk of you contracting a disease is so much so much much higher, and you will say, all right, but this is our pain. I think once you you're out there working, you deserve you deserve it. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, but you know, we think you deserve it. Them just said we are sweet. Look at talk. <laughs> Yeah, the managers and said, yeah, just to remind you, as much as we really appreciate you, um, you have to remember that the field that you're working is always hazardous. <laughs> so you make that decision to be in that field. So then basically I tell you, so much, so much nicer words. You're not deserve Take it. Take it off your mind. Yeah, so right. we ain't getting it. So the little extra hazard up here, we don't get it. But mm -hmm. if you are in Massachusetts and you're on the MBTA, um, a lot of them tend to, you know, be like, yo, we're, all, we're in this together. So they mm -hmm. tend to be very... Relaxed. True. You know, um, we'll put this out there. Even though we're in Massachusetts and talking about Massachusetts in particular, every state have something going on. That's true. People. Tap into your neighborhood of resources. Yeah. yeah. And just have a know how to find the information out there. That's true. Say. And if you're and if even if you're home, because I know our state is a lot of people who are not um qualified for unemployment, they're able to tap into the their city hall and see if there's any go ongoing mm -hmm. grants. And when there's ongoing grants, it moves very fast. So you have to be, you have to be super careful. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to be able to know that when the grants are there, right. to jump on it. But you have to ask questions. If you're home and you, you just let it relax and think. And and no, 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 you don't want to shame out here. I ask questions. You're hungry. You're going to have like food. Let's talk about food. Because food stamp. You see, a lot of people take it as shame. Listen, if me can get it, me want it. You know, always we work want it. You ever notice that? Me want it. Me that's Anything something else go with the pan camera. <laughs> <can't have it. laughs> Anything free from the government? Me want it. Me want it. But you are. I'm a pay tax. Right? And a lot of us can't get it. But if you are unemployed and you're on unemployment, you can file for emergency food stamp. Mm -hmm. They're close, but there's ways for them to be able to get you that card. They oh, can mail yes. it out, so you'll still get it. Mm -hmm. So you can get emergency food stamp if the kids are going to school and they know they depend on that meal. A lot of schools has jumped into action and start providing um, pickup centers. 
which is yes. really good. My um my son's school in particular, they do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they take home dinner, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you can pick up food daily. Perfect. And then on Fridays, you can pick up for the weekend. Oh, that's see, that's even more nice. Yeah. So that's happening here. Um, and I know a lot of local businesses also giving out. Um, I know in our here era, especially in the downtown Boston area, there's a lot of restaurants that are just giving it away, like. So Thank you for service too. Yeah, they must sell it for real, so but they didn't sell it, but uh, for a, a cheaper price. Yeah, than what you get it in the supermarket, which is true. Can we talk about if I don't know about over here, but prices in food gone up over here? Oh, by far. But it depends on where you're going though, because it, <laughs> you hardly get it. Let me tell you something. Me not notice the pricing of the food, right? But you know, me notice the pricing of the lifestyle. I really do want. <laughs> That's the Listen, notice the pricing. Of. I have realized that the price is gone right up. So. Maybe and because you guys are across the bridge. Like, my wife didn't want up. No, the coupon didn't disappear. You ever notice it? So, <laughs> my aunt, so we go BJ's all the time. And you know, look at BJ's up and you have run straight. And, and you said, okay, oh, we get $2 off here. So, the other day I went into BJ's after I'm done joining the long line. <laughs> and you have to six and eight feet apart. And the people that come each up on you. So, I'm going to go, go, go. And I said, what do the coupon that I always get? Nothing. No coupon. <laughs> so, I went into the cleaning aisle and I saw the Lysol. And I said, okay, yes, we can grab the Lysol. And the three pack and only to find out. You can only get one one pack per person. Reds, not even the <laughs> one pack at the $17 them tell me. Ooh. So it moved from $7.99 to a big bad $17. But then again, that is supply and demand. Wow. I understand so the demand increase. So but the supply is yeah. Job. I know, but I really want the lifestyle. So I'm just up and skip it. So you want me to know. Went to the dollar store and I got a bunch of dollar wipes and a bottle of bleach. And I open the wipes and I put the wipes into a container with a bottle of bleach and I seal it that I make Clorox wipes. Right. You know what true. we've been doing when the wipes put rum in a as, No, rum. yeah, as some beer things are going in. <laughs> you see, you see now, <laughs> yeah, a hard box that we are more expensive than what what every right? Jamaican person. I have a bottle of rum. Yeah, because vodka kills germs. I have a bottle and of rum. And you keep your rum too. the rum, how much percent of alcohol in the rum? About 70%. Right, right. true. You're one coming and soak it. You never buy that for sure. I never buy that. We can't tell you're one come to the airport. <laughs> God, that never buy that for sure. <laughs> No, but, so, but for real, but it's a good little catch and a lot of people them run spend their money so even if they're doing and the food increase, you can be able to get a lot of different services like Catholic Charities, um, yeah. the um, Food Bank, um, Red Cross, uh, they're, they're, oh my god, there's so much out there. Yeah. At this point, you can Google is doing a tremendous job in locating Finding. these places. Yep and making it available so you're going mm -hmm. your phone and you said free food near me or yeah. food bank near me sure. they got come it right up. come yeah. right up sure. just call and ask mm -hmm. you can even go out and ask dta because there's a lot of people that we know are not going to be qualified for emergency food stamp yeah because they may be a homeowner or they may have uh um a job already and the fact that they had the job they know that second job was the one that actually don't let them feel like they're living to paycheck mm -hmm. to paycheck so due to that now um they may apply for emergency food stamp and um, DTA may say you're not qualified and, and this is the reason why you're not qualified. You're, qual you're not qualified because you are above the poverty level. You're 125 or above the poverty level. Your household income is steady, stable. Mm -hmm. To we, stuff are expensive, but to the US government, they haven't changed Nothing. their poverty level yeah. in more than 50 years, which is ridiculous because times have changed, mm -hmm. right? So if you're in a family of three, they're expecting you to make about, what, 20? No, I think it's a little bit less. I think it's like twenty two or twenty eight thousand dollars a year. Three? Yeah, for a family of three, almost thirty thousand, but do the math, right? You make thirty thousand a year. What I can buy? You ever got a supermarket and try to buy the food yet? <laughs> Especially with a child. I do. <laughs> I feel like the go girl just costs a little bit more expensive than at these times. Listen. Right? So it, it don't be discouraged. If at least they shouldn't be discouraged if they file for the emergency food, food stamp and don't get it because there's food banks and the food banks give you good stuff, mm -hmm. so you can rely on that. But you know, come again and try one more time. That's true. That's true. That's true. And uh, I would even say for utilities, mm -hmm. if call on the phone company, you know what, you know, call everywhere, ask, ask what are they doing for COVID relief? Well, we know here from Massachusetts for COVID <clears throat> relief, um, this connection is um, in the wayside. Mm -hmm. you, so if you're one of the people in like them, I didn't guess from winter where there wasn't no snow, or 
What else? Them water? You're good. Like what? Yeah, but even <laughs> they're not gonna disconnect it. So there yeah. so with those companies you don't even have to call. Because the governor already put an order out where he said mm -hmm. absolutely no disconnection under his watch while we're under um right. the state of emergency. But if you know for a fact that you have your cell phone bill, which is very it's a vital, vital piece of utility at this right point. Now, yeah. Just call. T Mobile they'll be able to push it back. The only difference is if you have a look at change you get some money, just it's keep paying problems. on it. Because True. you're gonna be expected to pay True. that bill eventually. Mm -hmm. Um with Comcast, I think I already spoke we talked about Comcast mm -hmm. earlier. Um, that's another yeah. thing too. The credit card company, listen to me. Don't make this time fool and mash up on the credit because you're going to repeat Oh no, I'll go, oh no, still have to pay it. Yeah. Don't mash up your credit card. Well, I will be honest, I tried it. So I'm going to call them, mm -hmm. right? I was like, do you guys have any um, COVID relief programs? Yeah, we're still able, we're able to push it back for you for two mm -hmm. months, mm -hmm. but you're still going to be expected to pay mm -hmm. one. The, the minimum payment is it they're able to increase the minimum payment so for this month next month if it mm -hmm. was thirty five dollars this month and next month they add it one mm -hmm. and you still have to pay the interest. Wait now so which bank it's you really have? no I called all of them. Yeah which credit card company have we call capital what they call capital, capital one and then tell you that credit oh, one yeah. or oh, credit one a thief we call I call all of them, even the store one them, Victoria's Secret, Forever 21, right through. You see me now? Children's Place, all of them, I call. All right, you see me now? I know. Wait, no? Right through, right? Me not like department store cards. True. I'm going to tell you why I don't like them. True. They're a debt maker. Mm -hmm. They will sink you fast. So you say they could not afford the sneakers for your kids? They should have no, buy it. That, that true. You should check one more because I'm not going to lie to you, one more thing them just as bad. You know what I'm saying to you? True. So, I know a couple programs, um, Capital One in particular, I have Capital One, but maybe it depends on the level, right? Where they are doing forbearance for up to three months. And they're only asking for the minimum payment and they have since decreased the minimum payment based on your situation when they mm -hmm. ask you for it. Um, what they have also done is waive the um, late fees. And they yes, waive yeah, they do. And they waive mm -hmm. the report. So therefore, if they're used to or customary to be reporting to the credit bureaus, they're waiving it. They're not yeah. reporting it anymore mm -hmm. within that period of time. But if you don't call them, they're not going to report it. Exactly. So you exactly. need to call. So they're one. Another trick with the credit card company too. If you see that it's a disaster, you're not affected, are you affected? You can call because Chase is actually doing a very good job. I'm, for some reason, I wish me to have Chase at this point. Because you can call Chase and tell them that you want to increase on your credit line. And they'll give it to you because it will offset the debt. Mm -hmm. So if you have a five thousand dollar credit card and you owe two grand on it, and you know you're supposed to make your minimum payment, I probably about depending on your credit score. Your, yeah. A lot of people don't realize the minimum payment goes based on your credit score. Yeah. So it depends on your credit score and the interest rate on your credit card mm -hmm. that they make the determination on how much you're supposed to pay. So say you owe two thousand, you're paying sixty dollars a month for your minimum payment. And you said to them, say, well. You know, so may I ask if you can increase the five thousand dollar limit to about a six grand limit. Yeah. Then your debt to income yeah. ratio almost it it, it drop and your credit mm -hmm. score goes up. True. Increase. Yeah. So you can use it as an advantage. So for the for the tech swabby or the economic swabby or the business swabby or the just the one that we just want to level up. In no, the time, the time. Here, at the time for level no, up. No, it's the time. Yeah, you can take you can take Absolutely. this disaster time in 2020 and level up tremendously. Right. True. Right, true. So you can increase your credit score right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've been doing it. <laughs> yeah. Take advantage. Of it. Right, true. I tell people it's a level up time. Right. Because if you were doing if you were doing what what you're supposed to do before the crisis, mm -hmm. right, and you're not affected because you're essential or whatever, because you can have a little money put on ceiling about. The, the savings is not going to save you at this point. Right. You understand? Yeah. So if you you know you have it, level up on the credit score, level up yep. on the stock market. Oh, talk about it. I just did. Yes. <laughs> yes. Listen, it might look like you're in a little mm -hmm. dilemma right now and ain't like the red, the negative. It's a but, little, you know, it's a little but, for 600, it's a 600 extra nugget. Mm -hmm. It's if you're not giving me peace, go buy some stock. Listen, make it look red right now because I promise it's gonna go in the blue. It is gonna, it's gonna <laughs> it's move up. It's gonna go in the blue. Yeah, it's gonna move Maybe up. Maybe that right now. But it's going to. So, sometimes. Because you know why? And let's talk. You said that now, to, and I say, we said that to say this because the stimulus package just released. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get the $1,200. But to be honest, what $1,200 can do for a real also. 
Nothing. Nothing. So by the time it comes the bills then yeah. chew it up. So if you know within that stimulus package, several other entities got money. Healthcare, mm -hmm. travel, and guess what? Travel is the biggest one. Our country cannot run without a travel. Right. Our transportation system mm -hmm. or the, 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 the tourist system. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? When they say, oh, all these airlines are getting these bailouts, if they're not getting bailouts, oh, we got Jamaica to turn up. Listen. I'm stuck. Give it to them. Some more you bail them out. Because right now, <laughs> JetBlue <laughs> is the part. Seven dollar. Listen to me. Can I just talk about it? Yes. Seven dollar. My auntie just bought a JetBlue ticket from here to Fort Lauderdale. $17.10. Oh god, I was trying to catch COVID. I'm not lying to you because you see I don't know. I'm not going on a plane there with an asthma suit, with the gloves, with a full full arm. Just and she alone had a plane. I'm excited. I'm like, so why don't you do this all this time? I cannot do this. Why don't you do it all this time? Okay, now, so she got it for $17, which is really good because you can't know you can go look for family member. But do you really want to look for the money? No. Here? So, and then when you look for look how in December, you see the ticket prices are 1900 I said, Jesus, oh, please, I just come here, No need it. So, if you have yeah. the money, you can drop it on the stock markets, drop it on Carnival yeah. Tours, which is um the, the cruise line. Mm. A lot of people don't get it. These stuff are stuff are leisure. So, yeah. if you feel like say, it's gonna be a Jack's gonna be a hard player, it's not gonna work. Yeah, you, it, not, it can't be a dull boy all the time. Mm -hmm. You understand? And hard work and no play. Now the work neither, because now we see it now that we were only doing it for work. Yep. You understand? So jump up and level up with the stock market. Try you to know think what I that. invested in? Amazon. Amazon is a good one, but are you Amazon. doing Amazon with ETA or are you doing a full blown um, penny stocks? Not full blown. Okay. Yeah. You see now, I love Amazon to the max. You know, can remember Amazon when used to buy my book oh. when, when Amazon was in deficit for 10 years straight and then just shut and become Domin they basically dominated online and yeah. I have to give him kudos but a lot of people don't understand that it's it's way broader than what we mm -hmm. may think. They are basically one of the pioneers for artificial intelligence. They have several government contracts. There yeah. it's 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 yeah, it's a broad stone. Like they have um RDF research is now for um developments of robots and how mm -hmm. it to move and stuff like that yeah. and it's gonna it's just like tesla like they're doing a lot of behind the scene works with the um, arm you see <laughs> and, and i tell her tesla is on the right path because oh, they're yeah. moving up like they're yeah. they're, they're investing in space when the government decide not to mm -hmm. or to stop and they have increased their programming and their programs are really good brilliant 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 idea so if you have the little money i would see about now the time to take advantage of the real estate market the stock market and if you don't have it, don't force it. I just know your time. This is your time to figure out what you can do remotely, where you can be able to, you know, start a little business online, do something, get an extra income because it means a lot. True. You get me? So from the business and the money, the stimulus check when you spend it very wisely if you don't done already because it is small. Well, that is a business. Let's talk about these, like, I would say small business owners that is getting impacted by COVID-19. Oh, God. Small business owners are getting impacted. By. I am yeah. fully impacted by COVID nineteen. Extremely <laughs> impacted by COVID nineteen. Not my friend at all. But at the same time, I have found ways where I can level up, and um, that's gonna be my slang for the rest of the year because I tell, keep on remind me say I need to be able to stay focused. But for business owners, I'm gonna tell you it's rough, rough, mm -hmm. rough, rough, and. For a lot of business owners that didn't went in with the capital or the equity to be able to stay afloat for even a year just by paying your rent when you're True. closed it's it's a hard fight because um you can get the grants from the city but the question is how much money would you receive in order to keep your float you have other mm -hmm. people to be able to um provide for your own True. household your company and whole um but the resources that are out there i know boston in particular they have a lot of um grants the grants the grants that are available right now has been closed because it's been overwhelmed amount of applications. Um, they were doing from twenty five hundred to five thousand to ten thousand, depending on what the business need mm -hmm. and want on your qualifications. You can also go on SBA, which is um, the business the business service administration. Um, the SBA.gov basically can give you a relief. 
two year company. Right. And when you do the SBA relief, they have a one in particular that is for COVID. So you can do a relief loan, you get up to ten thousand dollars depending on your small business, where it's gonna eventually be forgiven. So imagine just get free money. Right. Just send it come to me. <laughs> The only difference you have to do, you still have to do the regular steps as if you're filing for a loan. You still have to prove that you have a business. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to do the, your taxes and stuff like that. So for everyone that was cheating the system and saying they have a company but wasn't doing it the right way, you would not be yeah. able to get relief. Even if you were not affected, you could still be able to apply for it because the whole goal of them doing it is so they can put that transaction back into the system. Mm -hmm. um, so we can avoid a recession, exactly. a possible um, depression, a possible stagflation and a lot of people don't know it you have to get on the balls get familiar with these terms especially if you're a business owner you need to know exactly what i'm talking about you need to know what a recession is you need to know what a um, depression is and that's something that we are are the government is running from on a whole why these stimulus packages are being released right. um you have to know what a stagflation is because you were just stuck and mm -hmm. not making the money but you need to level up in ways where you can be able to get the resources available. Yes. Facebook also has a grant that's given away for business owners. Yes, if you I have two that. to 500 people, so the minimum of two, the highest of 500, but you have to be able to prove that you're paying 200 people there. They want to be able to see your corporation papers. They want to be able to see um, that you are actually paying taxes. They want this information from mm -hmm. you. But what they're giving back to you is not only that the grant, they're giving you free advertisement. So yeah. pictures putting your money into Facebook for ads, this oh, is yes. the time you need it because everybody's yep. on their phone, yep. the tablet, the computer. True. Instagram is also doing it because it's the same network. They're doing the same thing. They're giving grants away. Um, PayPal is also offering grants over there. There's a lot of stuff that's being waived, a lot of fees that's being waived. The banks are actually waiving a lot of fees. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing your business taxes, this is the time we actually do our business taxes. Yeah. And you have to pay your corporate fees. Your corporate fees are being waived up until the end of August, which is really good. Because it's hard for you to pick up, especially in a state like Massachusetts, that has to pay that $500 annual. Mm -hmm. Then you have to do your quarterly taxes. That's a lot of money in and out. Yeah. And you need to be able to retain it to actually pay the bills. You know, so it's very difficult. And like I said, I'm, I'm directly affected by the COVID when it comes out to small business, not only with my decor business, which is Imperial, because um, I'm, I'm a non-social distance. I have to be able to socialize in order to be able to do my business. I have to have contact. You're keeping a party in order to keep me hired. Yeah. You know, so with that being said, business lock, shop closed. Shop lock. But that means that we can't apply for the relief because right. I'm in a position where I can be able to apply for it. But I would urge anybody else who want to be like oh i'm have a business i'm doing this i'm doing do it the right way from the jump you know what i mean from start the from the jump yeah like true. honestly do the right paperwork it not gonna hurt you going to city hall and getting a business registered is not no. a complete task yeah. you understand yeah so you have to know what you're doing and then even with my store with the kids spot that's another nightmare because that's actually a brick and mortar that i have to be able to take care of you know, that's the insurance I have to maintain. Because you can't go take out the insurance of our company and boom, fire got start or it flood or you're entitled to nothing. Mm, yeah, that's true. You know, so those are the expenses that are there. But once you can apply, apply for it at sba.gov, it takes a few weeks, but when they do give it to you, they give it to you. For the females who are also in the business, um, food surf permits are $25. A lot mm -hmm. of these permits are free. The state and the city is giving to you as an incentive. So if you can go online and do a food serve application, apply for it now. Because no. <laughs> you have it for free. It's not normally free. It's not normally free. It's normally $25. Dollar. I can't for money that. So you have to be able to think about it. And um, as a business owner, I'm tell you, the resources are out there, but they're very limited because it's not a lot of mama and papa stores going to be qualified for stuff yep. like that. Oh, yes. You know, not True. qualified. And I touched the insurance part and a lot of people don't know. If you have your car and you're paying the car insurance, you're not moving, you're remote. You care what I do or not pay, you still pay the insurance. Car insurance company, because they're giving money back. I know for a fact mm -hmm. mine had already gave me 25% back on mine. Um, I mean, I look argue for a little bit more because I'm going to drive. <laughs> You know, the middle of we know all I want to say. Um, the car payments are, are pushing back to the end of the car loan term, so that's even more and more and more wonderful mm -hmm. um, when it comes on to the business aspect. Right. QuickBooks is also giving waivers. So if you're a self employed and you're paying for QuickBooks, QuickBooks is actually keeping you afloat because you have been a loyal customer of them. So for business owners, I'm telling you, just hang in there. Try your best. If you know you can't, don't put too much egg in one basket. Unfortunately, I've seen a lot of my colleagues already putting up the 
permanently closed sign yeah. and it hurt your heart because without the small business you can't stay afloat That's your true. community is not a community That's without true. a small business and um, kudos to Shape Shack they've got their 10 million dollars from the sba.gov and they returned it because they realized the pot was getting small and the mom and papa store needed it most more mm -hmm. than them right um so if anyone else that have a corporation and they get it try to help with somebody sure. remember and if your business still floating at this time you can help somebody help somebody you know don't think yeah. of it as a loss because you can file for it you can apply for yeah, it next year true. and you can be able to have it right off your taxes because me like for right off things Nothing wrong. Me not give it because me feel like say, oh, my avatar. Mm -hmm. Me can't write it off. Me give it because me can't write it off. <laughs> right, true. <laughs> Since you know what I say, me give it because me can't write it off. But in order for me to think about giving it to you, I have to have a good heart. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of people don't get. They say, oh, they give it because they can't write it off. Yeah, that's true. But you have to have a good heart. You do it. Yeah. You have to have a good heart. Yeah. Because if that be the case, what I can do is I cannot give it to you. Right. You're not going to want to do it. You can do it, but you're not going to want to But we can find a different way yeah. to write it off. We can, we can call 2020 as a total loss. Mm -hmm. And we can put it down as my books as a total loss. And then for the next seven years, we just send me a reek from 2020 because we did lose. You see that, though? Yeah. When we could have simple give it to you and write it off. True. You understand? So as business owners, you just have to be able to say, no, listen. Take the necessary set that you need to take from the jump. Know what you're doing. Ask questions. Ask around, do not limit yourself. Get the EIN number and remember the EIN number in your business registration it is not there. It doesn't stop there. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more because if you were doing it right to jump, you'll be qualified for a lot of this COVID relief. True. You know? That's true. And then you know and a lot of them have health insurance and they don't have health insurance throughout this time. But if you know say you might feel any symptoms because of COVID time, um you're self employed, you don't have health insurance, they're not turning you away. No, they're not. So just go, because it's actually being paid for by the federal government. Yes. It's not being paid for by the hospital. They're not. They should not be asking you for any insurance information here in Massachusetts at all. At all. Yeah. So you need to get up and go, even if you're undocumented. Still go. They're not asking oh, yes. you a question. Uncle Sam sees all of that for now. It's not a time for running the body illegal. That is true. That is true. Yeah, no, son. Yeah. So you say if you're sick, then don't even want to touch you. So just go to ask the doctor. Exactly yeah. like a point. And work it yeah. out. So they're not yeah. going to ask you for all of that. So if you know you're sick and it's COVID time, you find out one symptoms, go. Isolate yourself, social distance, and just ignore people. Absolutely. You know? That's okay. true. So, so I, mean, I, I think know. we can wrap it up now. Um, just know that there is resources out there for you look up everything google should be the best friend right now and ask questions yeah just ask questions like even if you even if you see it on google because sometimes not all news is good news true and there's a lot of things floating on facebook and our social medias that we tend to like to click and they call clickbaits and, it's and not true. if it's too yeah. good to be true, it's too good to be true. Yeah. Like you understand? I said like you, and you have to look at it on both sides too, because a lot of people are saying, "Oh, me no want paying the rent, I'm not supposed to pay my landlord." But when you don't pay your landlord, who your landlord here? You have to true. think that true. You true. understand? I said because if you can't manage your pay, we understand that. But when in can manage your pay, you know, or you are going to you work too. Too. <laughs> true. Because guess who not care about you nor in. True. The the <laughs> That is so true. So if you have a house and you want to be able to know about your COVID relief with your home, you can apply for forbearance. But I'm telling you, tread lightly with the forbearance thing. Tread very lightly. Because mm -hmm. they will put it off for three months, but they expect you to pay that money in a lump sum after three months. Yes. If you're not having it now, you'll have it later. If you're not having it now, we make it. And if you really yeah. start working, oh, you're really going to find all of that. So what you can do is ask them if they can break the loan up or break the payments up mm -hmm. into payments where they can be able to attach that three month forbearance in broken pieces throughout the 12 years or the best thing to do is to ask the bank to put it at the end of the loan because yeah. if you put it at the end of the loan you totally forget about it and you get a chance to rebuild true you know that is true. it's just that you still have to pay the interest which is fine you were going to pay the interest anyway right true. i don't know any new so don't <laughs> let them tell us say, oh you still have to pay the interest yes oh my god i want it good no. you were yeah, going to pay the interest either way, either way. <laughs> because in america it is illegal to borrow money and not collect an interest. So you say anybody borrow my money? No one. Nah, no one interest. Because <laughs> me and you not got jail. So it's illegal to borrow money and not collect interest. So if they say to you, you still have to pay the interest. You was going to pay the interest anyway, so don't mm -hmm. worry about it. But homeowners, you can also go on sba.gov and have homeowner relief. They're helping you. 
it's just that it will take a little bit of time but make sure you ask them for the forbearance because when you do that it kind of ease the damage on your um your credit report mm -hmm. and that we were and right now it's only the fittest of the fittest who survive Makes sense. or the smartest of the smartest yeah. or the dumbest idea would reach on top so don't even because some some people too smart for them would put it <laughs> <laughs> so you have to always put that in consideration because they sit down and match it up and say oh me I saved the whole of my money right now I'm not oh. spending but they put that simple say you know I've invested in at least got two years I'm going to see a profit the dumbest man I'm going to jump on time True. or the most the person who are the most hungry is I'm going to be able to jump up and rise above it that's true you know that's so right true. now our job is to figure out what we need for dump on huh. to rise above it <laughs> <laughs> all right people so this was the first segment of Basement Talk Hard, Hard Fast. Fast. <laughs> you know, and I think it was a good session. It so was. Thank you, Rashibu, for welcome. being here with us. And we'll see you next time with the next topic. Who knows what it's going to be? Who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll forget the dumbest tuned. story up, right? <laughs> right. Well, by then, we'll find out who was the dumbest person. <laughs> yeah. Right. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Alright, hi, this is Shanisha. Um, again, this is Alafia. And uh, as far as basement talk, hard facts goes, if you have any questions or a particular issue that you would like to address, just bring it over. So you can DM it, email it, text it, voice note it, whatever mode of transportation <laughs> you would like to, like to use, just send it over. If we don't know, we'll figure it out. Or if I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, but chances are, we'll find the answer. We'll find the answer. <laughs> <laughs>